Hi, I'm Judy Jones from the Grafton Public Library, and I'm here today to talk with Nicolette Burkholtz about the Story Walk here in Grafton. Now, Nicolette was the driving force behind the implementation of the Story Walk here in Grafton, and I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? Welcome, Nicolette. Hi, thank you. Yes, I'm happy to be able to answer some questions. So basically, what is a Story Walk? A Story Walk is a book that has been dismantled and then laminated and then presented page by page um, on a walk, a bike path, or in a park with the idea of promoting exercise and literacy. Mm -hmm. um, story walks were created by um, Anne Ferguson from Montpelier, Vermont. Mm -hmm. um, it was a collaboration with the Bicycle and Pedestrian Coalition and the Kellogg Hubbard Library. So why did you feel that it was important to have a story walk here in Grafton? So story walks have a lot of benefits, some mm -hmm. of which are um, implementing some early literacy learning um, family engagement, an appreciation of the outdoors, physical activity, and just a general interest in reading. Um, it's a perfect opportunity for parents or other adults to be their child's first teacher while reading and playing outdoors. Um, and it's also displayed in one of our centrally located parks, mm -hmm. um, which allows us to promote literacy and engagement to all of our population and sure. visitors alike. So who are some of the community partners that made the story walk possible? So the Grafton Public Library, right. um, obviously, okay. and we partnered with the Grafton Chamber of Commerce, okay. the Village of Grafton, and then within the Village of Grafton, um, the Grafton Parks and Recreation Department. So does the library maintain the story walk? It's maintained in two parts. The pages that will be changed out are maintained by the Grafton Public Library, mm -hmm. um, but the posts themselves will be maintained by the uh, Parks and Recreation Department. So how long will each title be on display? Typically, each title should be on display for about three months. Um, so we will have it, the Grafton Library will have it and be posting books in it um, for our summer reading program and our winter reading program. And then we will also share it with the Chamber of Commerce um, and promote music books and um, books that feature the blues mm -hmm. in a way to kind of promote the Paramount Blues walking tour and add mm -hmm. an extra element to it. Mm -hmm. The book that is currently in there is a book called Library Lion. Um, that one has been there since September of 2019 okay. and it will be there until September of this year um, just so that we can kind of generate some interest and some momentum behind the story walk. Do you need to ask permission from the author or the publisher to display each title? So as long as you take the book and dismantle it without editing it in any way and use the physical pages of that book, you mm -hmm. don't need to ask for permission from the author or the publisher to use it. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So what is the average cost for each, each title? So the average cost to replace each book or to put a new book in there mm -hmm. is about $20 a book because you need two copies of each book um, because Obviously, they're printed on both sides, and right. when you tape it down, you won't be able to access one side. So you always need two sure. copies of every book. Mm -hmm. Costs about twenty dollars to do that. The actual first implementation, of course, costs a little bit more to get all of the setup. But um, from now on, every time we do one, it should only cost about twenty dollars. What were some of the obstacles that you um, faced trying to implement the story walk? So part of it is finding funding for mm -hmm. something like this. We wanted mm -hmm. a really nice display that mm -hmm. wouldn't warp over time okay. so we used a company called Barking Dog Exhibits who created these displays for us um, and so obviously finding funding for that was really important um, which is where our partners come in and then there's also a matter of it being in a public park um, so that space is owned by the village and we need approval to put something like that mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. um, so we actually went for a board a couple of boards to have that um, approved, including right. the village board and the parks board. So um, that's a big part of it. And then it's obviously time consuming to get all of these entities to work together. And once you order them and get them delivered, you have to assemble them. Mm -hmm. And the parks department graciously puts them all in for us. So all of that takes some time. Mm -hmm. Sure. So what do you feel is the most rewarding benefit from having a story walk here in Grafton? I would say that it's just that everyone, whether they live here or are just passing through or visiting someone, has access to a story at any time. Um, they can just take a walk down the riverfront and mm -hmm. they're able to read a nice book as they do that and they don't even have to remember when the story is due. Well, there you go. Well, thank you. Hey, today is a really nice day outside. 
Would you like to um, take us to the Veterans Park and give us a tour? Yes, absolutely. All let's right, go. Let's go. Thank you.